off to. I'm off to give my sister the car. Yes, what time can I phone you later? Uh, in an hour. Alright, not a problem. Alright, cool. Bye. Sure. I don't know if, if you guys can see on the social media, uh, the CEO uh, says, yeah, when, when this whole situation is over and everything is back to normal, they're already going to book my flights and accommodation in LA. I'm gonna be shooting. Hey, what up guys? I uh, hope you guys are well. Yeah, I've got the, the G-Wagon driving right behind me. Uh, okay, well, here it comes past. Here we go. <laughs> right. Yeah. We got the eight pipes out today so basically part of the reason for this episode is just to give you guys a little bit of inspiration what can happen for you guys if you really sacrifice your 20s and get to where you need to be right now as much as this is going to be inspiration uh but the reason for this is because currently my mom is in harry smith and uh yeah i've got meetings today and uh, my uncle passed away last week uh due to unforeseen circumstances and um you know sometimes part of being financially free is you are able to help your family and all of that so obviously now my, my sister uh I'm, I'm here to at my mom's place to give her the g-wagon to go pick up my mom and harry smith and that's kind of like a little bit of what what you can do with financial freedom you can help the family now they can go pick up my mom with the g-wagon uh, i sent money for the whole family to go sort out all the uh the, the the traditional stuff the funeral stuff and all of that and uh obviously we're going to be in the m4 today and i'm also meeting up with my uncle the, my uncle that inspired me uh, to obviously build my life the way I have and he obviously told me to not fall in love in my 20s He says you can't be wise and in love at the same time now for those of you guys that are in relationships Obviously look it's going to work in all of that But obviously when you have your own specific goals and you have the freedom of choices I then chose to sacrifice my early 20s uh, After my last relationship didn't work out and I'm going to be giving you guys tips on how Yeah single life can be beneficial to you if you still have that choice but if not you can still make it work but if you are single and stuff now we're starting the men's conference i'm looking for guys that are willing to sacrifice two to three years without being in a relationship to really set up their lives and i can give them the time advantage uh and all of that so yeah man i'm outside my mom's crib my sisters are coming out and you are about to meet my sisters we're just going to ask them a few questions about how i built my life and uh, so that you guys have an understanding that this wasn't easy, man. Uh, I came from the ground up. I was catching taxis and I got started in my business when my mom's house got flooded in 2016. Uh, my dad passed away the following year and I promised to retire my mom the following year. I took my mom overseas on a fully paid for vacation, you know, and, and then the following year started traveling the world, going to France, Lyon, um, yeah, Paris, Germany qualified to go to LA all these sort of things that I was meant to document for you guys but obviously now I'm taking you guys on a tour right now and uh, my sisters are coming out so yeah man meet you guys get to meet my family now and uh, yeah man just keep on liking and subscribing to my YouTube channel guys like uh, we're trying to hit 50,000 subscribers before the end of the year and uh, obviously I've got a financial goal and uh, and a dream car that I want to buy and uh, I'm just basically showing you guys by design where my life is going but yeah. <laughs> uh, guys, this is my sister. The, this is Kulani Koza. This is my sister that I started my journey with as well. And guys, believe it or not, I'm gonna post a, a highlight of her transformation with her body. I'm not gonna let you tell her tell you her transformation, but you'll see on this video how we're actually working on becoming the best versions of yourself, man. My sister, are you using makeup right now? Yes, for today. <laughs> for today. I can't even tell the difference because the skin is always drawing and stuff now. But obviously, I told her that, hey, we're shooting YouTube content today. So she's like, ah, let me put on makeup because we're about to make her famous. All right? You know, I need to look my best. Yeah. So where are you headed today? Harry Smith. Are you picking up moms? Yeah, I'm picking up moms with the G-Wagon. With the G-Wagon in the, the, the posy. <laughs> the G-Wagon in the posy. How are you, my sister? Oh, yeah? oh shop. <laughs> <laughs> Today you got the G wagon in the pool. <laughs> Global expansion team two and a half. Those of you guys that don't know, this is a prestigious level uh, in the business that we do uh, as well. So yeah, basically this just basically means that her organization is servicing about 500 customers each and every single month. So guess what, guys? We're creating generational wealth, man. We are working together on the same business. 
and uh, obviously now we've got my other sister in the business we're going to get the kids into the business do you feed your kids the products ah uh, too much yeah too much and how how your kids how, how do your kids perform compared to before the products yo much much better i got a report from um kindergarten for my youngest son that he's actually concentrating more he's not so fidgety like before but he's got too much energy though yeah <laughs> <laughs> got too much energy vocalized and my son's got eczema in the eyes yeah you know so he's on the product and it's getting much much better you know those brownish red eyes they're yeah. getting better all right you know? yeah well i've got a breakfast date with my uncle oh i'm jealous yeah okay. it was his birthday i didn't wish him happy birthday and uh, I give uncle said I must stay single in my 20s. <laughs> so now I have to shoot content for the boys now. I don't know if I must post a, a, a little interview with my uncle, maybe on another episode. But um, I've got a video with my uncle on, what, what, what was it Father's Day? Just Father's Day. Yeah, Father's yeah. Day, where he was telling me and my cousins we, not, we mustn't fall in love. Cousins don't fall in love in their 20s. And I'll post that for you guys. So yeah. Yeah, and you must ask uncle why he's not talking to the ladies. <laughs> he's always talking to the boys, not the yeah. ladies. <laughs> What's yeah. oh, are you, ah, show is recording. Yeah, guys, yes. this is my older sister. You guys know I've been a hustler, right, mm -hmm. the whole time. So even before I started my network marketing business, she used to make those vests that I used to sell back in the day. She's a designer and all of that. But we're all doing the business together. So obviously, yeah, this is just a family episode today. It's all about the causes and all of that. I'm grateful for these two because she was helping me hustle back in the day mm -hmm. and then she also supported me during the business there were times where I was in hospital back in the day I'll get into that at a later stage but this is why you guys must always keep your family together man like keep your family nuclear take care of your family break generational curses and let's create generational wealth so peace out dude. Uh, are you going to be giving them hey sorry <laughs> <laughs> it's the fault <laughs> <laughs> Let's hear the four pipe, just shop a... Like some shop sh break? Sh yeah, no, shy a little rib then. Okay, wait. Let's Arre. go pump bell. Arre. You can fill up the petrol tank, eh? Okay. I'm at the pin, eh? Uh, ish, now that they're recording, we can't give you the pin. Hey, 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 hey. Let me get my bag. My sister. Hi. My sister. Safe trip, eh? Safe trip. Love you guys. Love, Love you more. Cool. Let, let me know when you're that side, eh? Okay. Alright. Yeah. Okay. I want to hear what I hear when I usually drive off, so you can drive off. Technology. Technology. <laughs> As is. Put it, put it on the on drive. Yeah, drive. Yeah, drive. Oh. Yeah, is your hand break up? Yeah, hand break up. Oh my. Oh. Hey. Shut. Come on guys, this is what we were speaking about man, like you know, especially when we first started in our journeys uh, we, we then understood what wealthy people do uh, There's three kinds of people, poor, middle class people and wealthy people And uh, this is just me quoting, I'm not trying to offend anyone, but they say poor people own nothing and control nothing Middle class people own everything and control nothing Wealthy people own everything and uh, yeah, own nothing but control everything So. Basically, at the end of the day, what we're trying to say is basically in your life, if you want to be in control of your life, at first you need to set up your assets because assets are income producing um, things that you guys have that can help you become productive without being present. So we then had a sacrificial phase where we had to build up our business to get to a point where it overflows with income where it could allow us to then invest in other ventures like then starting this YouTube channel for you guys and all of that, right? So now that we are doing that for you guys, we're actually showing you what we do behind the scenes. But now we own our own production company, we own our own record label, we own our own business, we own our own music, right? And now we're going to be owning all our programs that we're going to be 
delivering for you guys my gym programs, all the, the mentorship and all of that. It's all about ownership uh, and all of that. Now we're diversifying our income, but our main funnel of income is our nutrition business. So yeah, man, let me go see my uncle right now. He's actually calling me. And uh, yeah, man, peace. Yeah, how's it, Chief? Good, good, how are you? Good, good, how far are you? Uh, I should be there in five minutes, are you? Same. Oh, okay. Alright. I had a problem with something with that, so I'm just trying to come to you there now. Uh, all right, now nah, no problem. I, I just gave my sister the car. She just left, so I just left my mom's house. So I'm on my way there now. Uh, all right, see, see you now, now. Right. Yeah, that's uh, my uncle, and uh, yeah, I'll be posting a little conversation I had with them on Father's Day. Uh, for for you young boys right now, just to give you guys a little bit of value, because maybe some of you guys don't have fathers, and you have. Uh, you don't have that father figure mentoring you guys and remember there's a job of a man and there's a responsibility of a man and a father and uh, that, that's uh, one of the hardest things that won't be taught at home so always remember there's a, a feminine, pur feminine purpose which is the, the female feminine purpose which is family and all of that and the male which has to become you have to become a man and a man will then go through certain initiations in life. I posted my speech of my dad's funeral the other day. Uh, you can go check uh, that on one of my other videos uh, as well. And that's when I decided to transform from a boy to a man and started acting like an adult before I became one. And the blessing in disguise is that now three years later, I'm living the life I've always dreamt of in my 20s. And now I also know what to do as a father to develop my kids in future from everything that I've learned myself right so for those of you guys with no guidance check out this video and uh just let me know your thoughts as well man we're trying to give you guys valuable content that could change your life forever right this that short sacrificial phase guys let's put in the work and uh life is all about having options driving g-wagons m4s though these cars are not assets by the way guys these are the things that you can get now while you're still young and you can learn how they are actually not good for you because if you guys are getting cars for girls you're getting them for the wrong reasons i'm using this to be building my business my sister's driving to harry smith my car's already got my branding and all of that it's advertising and it's also going to be just uh, for my mom to be driving comfortably back home but other than that guys don't buy these cars unless you own a business right don't fall for the pressure a lot of people have all these cars and they can't afford them so trust me you then have to set up your income goals first smash them into the top one percent then have the freedom to choose to buy these things that don't make you money but for me it makes me money but i'm at a phase where i'm using these cars as an asset but the maintenance of these cars i wouldn't wish them upon anyone guys trust me it can cost you a hundred thousand rands a month just to be having cars like mine so don't do it remember i learned this from one of my own men's conferences boys if you're not at least making a hundred thousand rands a month you can't afford to have a girlfriend i'm just being honest with you it may hurt your feelings but just keep that in mind that it's more important for you to become financially free first before falling in love but if you are in a relationship obviously make sure you get the most out of it and you you you, you keep on doing everything to make it work but the most important thing get your financial freedom because time is money as you get older your problems are going to get bigger uh, as well where love won't pay the bills but your responsibility as a man and that burden of you to perform will always be there They'll, you'll always be loved under certain conditions women and dogs and uh, and cats are always loved unconditionally men are loved on the condition that they can provide now you can use that information to your advantage because i don't have a problem with that because i know i'm resourceful and i'm so resourceful that even if they do take money from me it doesn't bother me that's the whole point that's your job as a man into the top one percent let me go see my uncle and check out this video of me and him and speaking about not falling in love in your 20s I've been preaching that yeah. the whole time. <laughs> I've been preaching because because we are not, now, not we are, in your twenties. No, I yeah. believe it was. And we are now <laughs> falling in love with the struggle. But that was yeah, not a for struggle. Us. This is for a reason. Yeah, why, why, struggle, why are you no, we're falling in love with the struggle. <laughs> yeah. So so you can't betray the struggle for but now what is the struggle right now? For our generation. Yeah. What is the struggle? Financial freedom and making something else. It ourselves. is the it is the most important struggle. Yeah your financial freedom here we go the freedom to think yeah 
the freedom to do things that you want to do when you want to do it at your own time, not at somebody's time. Yeah. If it is any other person's time, it's because you're chasing something that must happen. Everybody's time is important. Yeah. But if it's your time, is like, you know what? Today I'm going to wake up at 10. Yeah, it's your time. Yeah. Today I'm gonna like clean my car and just take it out for a spin and then come back. Or, yeah, you know. Yeah. But you need to work. The time is like okay. I need to work for this. Hundred percent dedication yeah. to the objective. Because that objective it brings financial. If you say financial freedom, freedom. Some people think financial freedom you go and steal money. You got yeah. like 10 million. That's and not thing, financial that's not, freedom. That's just having a lot of money. Financial freedom is when you build brick by brick what you want to create and have the benefit of it at your own time when you want it and with no one telling you what to do. 100%. You can't because be wise people, and in love at the same yeah. time. Because be wise and in love. In your 20s. No, there's no way in your 20s you could be... Part. Unless if you are, you are a chief, then we marry you at the age of 19 because you, yeah. <laughs> because you just want to maintain. You are like a breeder, you know? That's why this other British guy says, you know what, I don't believe in these things of king and chief. It's just a whole bunch of incest. You know what is incest? Yeah. 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 Is. Where the father sleeps with the daughter yeah. and then the Cousin. daughter gives birth yeah, and then no, no, no. that one becomes a king. Yeah, yeah, like, no, like, no, no, no. But all, the whole thing of kingship, I mean, we don't yeah. believe in it, yeah. luckily. Because okay. it, 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 it's just uh, something that is sold, you know. Yeah. Like, the Zulus will believe that. No, in course, in, in. but in reality, if you look at the evolution of human beings, yeah. There was never a king whether when we were homo sapiens, for example, when we were beginning to stand upright and have spears and yeah. fight. No, there was no king. Yeah. This thing happens like when now there's beginning to be shortages of land and then we start fighting among ourselves. Yeah. ourselves yeah. And then uh, Butomi says, hey guys, I've conquered these guys, I'm the king. Yeah. That's how it started. Yeah. So, so, so there's no natural thing that like is a natural born king no there's nothing like that yeah. you know yeah. so 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 what is more important i believe is that you know when i came back and everybody's like no you must come you must join the government and uh, mandela came and he was pleading with me that home in second uh, even zuma came and i'm like you know what guys i don't want to be in government what was I saying earlier? Because why? Because I don't want people tomorrow to look at my achievement and say, no, this man, he was in government. No. I never was in government yeah. and I have always been in the private sector. Always. My Siemens, all my businesses, yeah. private sector. Out the system. I've yeah, never. Well. Yeah. yeah. You get into government business, mm. your name is going to be brandished whatever you have or if they stole the ppes or they can this and that. demolish your oh, name with the flick of a button yeah, they, yeah you whatever you work for it to be wiped out by in no time yeah so it is important to have to build in your mind to say you know what there is no one who can tell me what to do if you are financially secured not the financial secured of the insurance companies when they say no you're financially secured because when you die we'll pay your family hundred thousand that's not financial that's security. Not financial. Yeah. you know don't live for like life after death there is nothing like that you know and i've been telling people i'm like oh god you guys <laughs> You don't know how long has people been waiting for Jesus Christ to come back. But anyone who <laughs> died, anyone.